<coughs> so the first thing I want you to do is I'm gonna show you how to launch a server. So a server is gonna be using EC2. So going up to services here, we will type in EC2 and we'll make our way over to the EC2 console. So once we are here, I want you to go ahead and launch a new instance. So there's a big blue button here. So we'll just hit launch instance. And uh, now we're gonna be presented with a bunch of options to configure our server. So we are going to choose what OS we want to use. We're gonna uh, stick with Amazon Linux 2 because it's part of the free tier and saving money is a great thing when we are learning. The next thing we need to do is choose the size of our uh, of our uh, server here. So these are called instance types. And so uh, you can see that the memory gets larger and the amount of CPUs get larger. We're gonna stick with T2 Micro because again, that's part of the free tier and we want to save some money. Going next to instance details, we can choose how many instances we want to uh, start. An instance is a server. So if you uh, have uh, 10 instances, that's 10 servers. And we have a lot of options here. We're gonna launch it in our default VPC and into the default subnet. Uh, it is going to be auto assigned a public IP. So it's going to be uh, public facing. And uh, we're going to want to create an IM role here. So what I want you to do is go ahead and uh, uh, just right click here and make a new tab because uh, we want to give this uh, a bit of permissions. So up here, I'm just gonna go to uh, the IM management console. And I want you to make your way down and create a new role. And so we are gonna be presented with a bunch of options. So we are uh, creating a role for EC2. So we'll select EC2. We're going to go to next to permissions. And I want you to type in SSM. Uh, and I want you to choose Amazon EC2 role for SSM. SSM is Simple Systems Manager. And that's gonna be a way for us to actually uh, log into that machine, okay? And so we're gonna get here and I'm just gonna say my EC2 uh, role. And I want you to hit create role. And so now that role has been created and uh, we will just go ahead and close that tab there and we will drop this down. You're gonna see that it says none. So we'll hit the refresh button here and we'll choose my EC2 role. So now we have uh, that, uh, uh, that set up. Uh, we are going to leave everything else blank and I want you to go to storage. So here you can choose how, how much storage you want. It's gonna have eight gigabytes by default. You can change the volume type. We're gonna stick with general purpose uh, and we are going to go review and launch and we are gonna hit launch and it's gonna ask you to uh, create a key pair. Um, and so key pairs are used to get into the server, um, but we actually don't need one because we are using SSM, which is another way of logging into the server. So we're gonna proceed without a key pair. Okay, and we'll just set, I acknowledge that. I will not be able to connect to this instance unless I already know the, the built-in password, which is not true because we can get through systems manager, but we will go ahead and launch this instance. All right, and so this instance is now launching. In order for us to uh, see it, you can either go view instances. We'll just click that down below here. All right, and so now this instance is launching and uh, you're gonna see it in a pending state and we're waiting for uh, two status checks to pass. So this is gonna turn from yellow to green and then we're gonna uh, wait for this to initialize. Uh, and uh, once that's done here, I'll see you here in a moment. Go. Okay, so after a short wait here, I think I waited about three to four minutes. Um, our server uh, is now running and it also has uh, two checks. So that means that the uh, server is in good shape. So now that our server is running, we'll just gonna take a peek down here because we get a variety of different information such as when it was launched, the IM role, uh, the security group that it is in, which was the default one, what size it was. And we can see that it has a public IP address and private IP addresses. Okay, so now that the server is running, this is uh, costing us money. Now we are on the free tier, so I guess technically it's not. But if we wanted to shut this down, and we're not gonna shut it down just yet, but I'm just showing here that we would just go here to terminate and that would shut the server down uh, uh, and then we would no longer be paying for it. We could also stop the instance and that wouldn't destroy it, but it would not have it not run anymore and we'd also be saving money, okay? So whether you stop or terminate that instance uh, will ensure that you save money. So uh, now that uh, this is done, let's actually learn how to uh, uh, get access to this instance.